If you want to be successful, at regular intervals, you're going to need to review your goals and how you're going to achieve them. We often get caught up in all sorts of things that may or may not be in line with our values, goals, and mission. Or we feel unproductive as we can't accomplish all the things we put on our to-do list. Does this sound like you? So how do we prevent this from happening? The proper use of a to-do list. I'm Dr. Chris Friesen from Friesen Performance, where I help you achieve your greatest potential by optimizing your psychology, physiology, and neurology. In my previous videos, I went over why relying on inspiration is not enough to keep you motivated. I reviewed how the most successful people make their day-to-day -day decisions based on their goals and values, and not based on their moods, energy levels, or what their mind says they can and cannot do. I also reviewed how our brain's dopamine reward pathway is being hijacked by technology, and how we need to focus more of our efforts on what Stephen Covey calls quadrant two activities. These are activities that are important, but not urgent. So is the to-do list dead? Of course, I think we can all agree that making to-do lists that are not informed by your values, mission, and long-range goals won't help you achieve the goals that are right for you. But to-do lists do have a number of important functions. So how does a to-do list help? As a neuropsychologist, I like to consider issues related to performance and productivity from a neuropsychological perspective. One of the main functions of simply having your daily tasks written out with old-fashioned pen and pencil or electronically is that it serves to free up your brain's RAM, known as working memory. Your working memory is your brain's ability to keep information front and center so you can work on it for a short period of time. Some cognitive neuroscientists have argued that working memory is the key to intelligence. They believe it is the core cognitive ability that underlies almost all of our cognitive powers. While there's some evidence that you may be able to improve your working memory capacity with training, it's generally limited. Working memory is part of a more global cognitive ability known as cognitive efficiency. This is really made up of working memory and something called cognitive processing speed, which is our brain's ability to do things, relatively simple things, quickly. Poor cognitive efficiency serves as a bottleneck for higher cognitive functions like your attention, your memory, your ability to use language and understand language, and problem solving in addition to executive functioning. So you don't want to clog up your working memory with all these tasks you're trying to remember to do. Writing things down on a to-do list frees up your brain's working memory capacity, which allows you to use it for more useful tasks, things you need to focus on. Just like your computer will work more efficiently with less apps running, unloading things onto your to-do list can help free up your brain's resources. In addition, psychologically, you need to track small accomplishments. Again, this is where your to-do list comes in. The act of physically checking off boxes and crossing things out serves an important psychological function. You're telling your brain that you're done with the task. This allows your brain to take any information out of working memory so it frees it up for more pressing tasks. It also gives you a feeling of accomplishment, of moving forward, and activates your brain's dopamine reward system, which is something I talked about in a previous video. So in other words, it helps keep motivation and morale strong, and it also just feels good. It's also best to finish tasks and get some form of closure on something you're working on before moving on to the next task or finishing your day. Otherwise, it may linger in your working memory and affect your performance. This is known as attentional residue. If you leave a bunch of unfinished tasks, you feel a diminished sense of confidence and accomplishment, even though you recognize that you worked hard all day. Your brain needs this reward to keep going. Otherwise, you end up procrastinating and feeling overwhelmed. This will wreak havoc on your motivation. This is why you have to break down bigger goals into smaller and smaller tasks. This is something I'll touch on in another video. Are you ready to put the to-do list to work? Get out there and take control of your destiny before it controls you. If you like this content, please hit the like button, share with friends who may benefit, and subscribe if you want to get alerted to new content. 
I've also put a link to the first two chapters of my book below. Until next time, keep moving forward.